sure that's on there secure. And we're in business. We'll be able to tell momentarily whether this is high enough. One thing I've found, well, I'm not gonna be printing many of these today, but it takes up a lot of ink um, to get a really solid, even block of color. I feel like a candy maker. Now sometimes I get ideas from just mixing ink. You see all the different color variations and when you scrape off of the glass or you know the surface that you're mixing ink on, you know, it gives me an idea for texture. Not necessarily for my printmaking, but for you know possibly something I'm working on in Photoshop or something that I'm painting. Okay, <clears throat> now I think I'm ready to ink this thing up. Voila! Look how bright that is. That's pretty. That's that's a perfect sound right there. Some printers like to get the perfect impression. I personally, you know, with both my painting and my printmaking, I'm looking for the unexpected texture. You know, whether it be printer's ink, whether it be oil paint, whether it be acrylic, whether it be something that I accidentally pressed while using Photoshop, I'm always looking for that little accident. I love being able to experiment with an Epson printer and having my work and produce so beautifully on the latest technology, but I love that, that's great. But there's something to be said for this, it's like, it's a hands-on visceral experience. It's there's something more tangible to it at times. Now I'm gonna take and repeat the same process, mix up some different ink for the man who's sparring with the bear and then, you know, another tone for the, you know, knocks out the bear. I created this piece just to create a manly picture. It also kind of reflects my ideas of the year 2009. It was just a horrible year for everyone. I figured I'd illustrate something about it. When I have excess ink, which isn't often, I take just a piece of saran wrap and I roll it up into like this airtight Tootsie Roll kind of looking thing. It, this is a lot better actually than putting it in like say a, you know, a baby food jar or something like that when I'm done, when I'm done with it, or when my son's done with it. Um, I don't like the taste of baby food. I mean the school I went to, I went as an undergrad, I went to Utah State. We used to spend Fridays just, you know, all day from like eight till three in the afternoon painting from a live model. At the time, I would, I would get so frustrated, you know, especially if the painting was going badly, but I look back on that now, and of course I've got the, the advantage of, you know, hindsight is 2020, right? But when I look at that, I, I, I think it's good for somebody to struggle through a painting, to struggle through a print, 
you know, you learn a lot about yourself. You learn a lot about not only yourself as an artist, but you know, your personality. Do you have patience? Do you have the wherewithal really to see it all the way through?